bold, visionary, determined, passionate. And once she commits to something, she utilizes all the resources to get it done. Very few people come in the package of a Juliet Garcia. I saw it as soon as she became president of TSC. You saw it. Things were changing. Things were growing. More and more people were thinking about higher education. It became a real possibility for the students. So it is that I accept the charge today. It is an honor and a great responsibility. I want us to be known not because we are on the border by the sea, but because of what we believe is important, that we exist in a community whose only option for significant gain is through education. I promise to give it all I've got. I require no less of the faculty, the administrative officers, of the staff, of the students, and of the community. We are truly on our way, and I invite you to join us. If Juliette Villarreal Garcia were telling the story of her life, it would include laughter, poignant memories, and funny stories that make us all feel like we were there with her along the way. But we are telling her story, and so we tell it with great respect and admiration and maybe a smile or two. Young Julieta grew up in Brownsville in a home where education was highly valued, no matter how difficult it was to come by, and where a young woman of intelligence and drive was taught that she could accomplish anything, anything she set her mind to. Like many young people in Brownsville at the time, she attended classes at her hometown college and then looked to the big city for her BA and MA from the University of Houston. Later, she would earn a doctorate from the University of Texas at Austin in communications and linguistics. I don't know that anybody can fully gauge what's going to happen, but she had, has always had a vision of what she feels she can do and what the future of this region could be. And that's what she's dedicated her life to. I think she's just driven, one of those people who's driven to succeed in whatever she does. She's articulate, she's uh, confident, <laughs> she has all the, uh, the uh, uh, characteristics that you'd expect in someone uh, who is successful in life, in her work, in her life, period. Juliet eventually became a college professor. She had been Dean of Arts and Sciences for several years when she was, at the tender age of 37, chosen from among more than 50 candidates in a nationwide search to become the 12th president of Texas Southmost College. She would be the first Hispanic woman in the nation to serve as a college or university president. And it was not an easy thing to have her uh, as president uh, the uh, people were uh, a against her that because she was too young, a woman, and Hispanic, and those were the facts. And I knew that she could she could ma do this and and move it forward to another level. And so, no, I never had any doubts. There was people that did, but I think for the most part, they had come to accept and see that that there was a future and that she could lead us into it. Supported by family and friends and colleagues, Juliet would indeed give it everything she had. Along the way, she would make a profound impression on her hometown alma mater and on the young people of Brownsville in South Texas. I knew even back then in 1986, she had a vision. She didn't stop until it became reality. And uh, there was no doubt in my mind that if, there, if someone could do it, then she was the one. Her love of Brownsville is what made UTB and made this community what it is today. She led two successful bond issues for the college district, totaling $81.5 million, and secured state funding to restore historic buildings 
and transform a growing campus with new classrooms and lecture halls. She worked with the community on an inspirational student scholarship endowment campaign that drew national attention and was matched by the United States Department of Education. Mothers with strollers, school children, and corporate good citizens stepped up to add their hard-earned dollars and even pennies to that effort. Since then, the challenge for excellence endowment has made college possible for thousands of students. Juliet's efforts attracted notice outside of Brownsville as well. When Brownsville leaders launched the visionary campaign that would bring a university to Brownsville, Juliet was among those who reached out to the University of Texas leaders, inviting them to Brownsville and help them see the region's potential. And when the University of Texas system came looking for university leadership, they found it, firmly rooted and already blooming in South Texas. Juliet had been president of TSC for six years when she was selected to become the president of the brand new partnership between the University of Texas at Brownsville and Texas Southmost College. As former UT Chancellor Dr. Hans Mark would later say, since we couldn't get Juliet out of Brownsville to join the University of Texas, we had to bring the University of Texas to Brownsville. She is a very remarkable person, but as important or even more important, she is a superb judge of people. And that's what leadership really requires, vision, intelligence, and judgment. And she's got them all. At her first press conference as president of UTB, Juliet talked about the massive and overwhelming need for higher education in the Rio Grande Valley and the community's hopes in joining with the UT system. Harnessing the aspirations of an entire community and forging an all but unheard of partnership between a local community college and a university, Juliet had a challenge like no other. Her tenure saw UTB and TSC's growth into a multi-million dollar research institution with centers of excellence from biomedicine to gravitational wave astronomy and with a bouquet of new graduate degrees. That is her gift because, you know, she makes you believe. She has the ability to encourage you to be a part of something and create a momentum where you think the sky is the limit, which it is. And her legacy to this community is that she has been able to do things that no one even thought about, much less even realized how to accomplish. Every time a graduate walks across that stage, a life is changed. A first ever online UT graduate degree, an internationally acclaimed chess program, legions of successful nurses, teachers, and musicians, prestigious national accreditations for every eligible program on campus, the first doctorate of education degree for UTB, and a distinctive architecture for a campus firmly rooted in the history of the people it serves. She was the right person at the right time for a big job. And she was a person that I could talk to, get advice from who listened beautifully. The exciting part about working with Dr. Garcia is that she, she had the examples, she had the practices, she had the impact, she had the outcomes, that you could go and see how students were succeeding. Along the way, she has been honored as a Latina, as an alumna, as an educator, and as a leader. She lectures annually at Harvard University and is a national expert on first-generation college students. White House initiatives, presidential transition teams, national councils, numerous education and philanthropic foundations, she has served them all. The Texas Women's Hall of Fame, Time Magazine, the American Council on Education, Fortune Magazine's World's 50 Greatest Leaders, these and many other organizations have heaped accolades on our president. And over on the east side of Brownsville, some no doubt college-bound middle school students proudly attend Juliet V. Garcia Middle School. Go Gators! 
Ford Foundation President Darren Walker remembers her welcoming abrazo when he first joined her on the Ford Foundation Board of Directors. He admires her eloquence on behalf of a unique community. And Juliet has been a fervent and passionate voice for those students who often don't have a voice because they're working hard, and holding down two jobs, or taking care of their families. She is a woman of extraordinary vision, passion, and energy, and warmth. And she brings that to you when she walks into the room. She lights up a room. This year's commencement with her 22nd and ultimate year as UTB president drawing to a close is especially joyful. With her devoted husband, Oscar, at her side, proud of her two grown children, Oscar David and Paulita. She was delighted to hand granddaughter and namesake Julieta Rico her diploma from UTB's Math and Science Academy at a university she helped build. At a university she is now helping transform into its newest incarnation as the University of Texas of the Rio Grande Valley. Extraordinary leader, passionate about higher education, students come first for Dr. Garcia, and that really matters. I think she's done a lot for the region, for the state, and I think she's not finished yet. <laughs> you know, I think there are other things, uh, other things coming. She had so many opportunities to leave Brownsville from other universities and government, and she stuck with Brownsville. I thank her uh, from the bottom of my heart as an alumni because without her, this institution would not be where it is today.